I've been meaning to make videos on audio in Game Maker for a really long time, and when Game Maker introduced audio effects almost a year ago, I thought that that might be the kick in the pants I needed to finally sit down and do it. And then I made like two, and then kept on procrastinating. So let's fix that, shall we? Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and let's talk about audio emitters in Game Maker. So once you have basic sound and audio playback uh, working in your game, that's great, that goes a long way, but if you want more fine-grained control over things like audio effects and the volume that different types of audio play at, or even 3D positional audio, then audio emitters are the solution to basically all of your problems. So in my trusty old 2D example project here, I've got a few different types of audio playing. There's some background music which you can hear. And then uh, there's also, I've added some footstep sound effects if you were to walk around and if you were to talk to an NPC. Uh, there's a little chime. Okay, very nice. Uh, three different types of audio. So there's the background music, there's the footstep, and there's the, uh, the chime. And as I'm sure that you already know, if you want to do things like change the, uh, the the volume or the pitch of a sound effect, uh, there's a couple optional arguments that you can pass to the audio play sound function. And you can do that for uh, sound effects, you can do that for background music sounds, whatever you want. But what if you want to just be able to look at entire categories of sound, such as all music in the game or all uh, sound effects in the game, and um, globally control the pitch or audio or um, the pitch or the volume of all of those types of sound effects without having to uh, write it out like without having to reference your, your game's volume settings or whatever in the audio play sound function. Or what if you, uh, as I mentioned earlier, want to do different things with audio, um, with audio effects, only having audio effects playing on one type of sound versus others, or uh, 3D sound is really the biggest um, application, I think, for, uh, for audio emitters. So uh, I'm going to create two audio emitters for this project, I'm going to create one for the background music and one for the um, the different sound effects, the footsteps and the uh, the talking chime sound, uh, coin, whatever I've called it. Uh, we can do that by saying, let's call it emitter BGM is a variable I'm going to store the audio emitter create in for the background music and emitter I'll go with SC is going to be audio emitter create, and that's what that's the emitter that the uh, the sound effect audio is going to play through. What are you complaining about? Only referenced once? Yeah, who cares? Hey. So uh, as usual in Game Maker, if you type audio emitter and then either let the uh, the autocomplete fill in or hit Control Space to uh, force it to appear, uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of functions related to audio emitters that you can use. Um, uh, a lot of them have to do with positional audio, which I think I'll cover in another video because um, that's going to be a whole separate thing. But if you want to play a sound through a particular audio emitter, all you have to do is instead of saying audio play sound, uh, you can say audio play sound on, and you can give it the emitter ID. So for the background music, we'll give that the, uh, the emitter underscore BGM audio emitter. We have the sound ID. Uh, we have true, false, whether or not it loops uh, for the music that's going to be true, and the priority, which I just uh, gave a, uh, a default value of 100. Uh, it is worth pointing out that the arguments for uh, Boolean loops and the uh, priority of a sound are reversed. In audio play sound on versus audio play sound, uh, in audio play sound, uh, the argument order is the sound ID, priority, and loops, and in audio play sound on for an emitter, you have the sound ID, you have loops and then priority, it's backwards. It, I, I don't know who, who did that. I don't know who created that system in Game Maker back in the GMS1 days, but whoever that is, I, I would just like to, uh, to make sure that they know uh, what kind of headache they have uh, bestowed upon everybody who has tried to use Game Maker's audio emitter since. Anyway, we can do the same thing in, um, this will be the uh, the player step event where I am uh, playing the uh, the coin sound, the the chime when you talk to an NPC. So audio play sound on. Um, the emitter ID is going to be emitter sound effects. Uh, the sound ID is going to be this. Uh, loops is false because you only want that to play once. I give that a priority of 110. I see, and um, down here for the footsteps. 
uh, we can do the same thing with the footstep sound effect. I gave that a lowered priority because it's a less important sound. So after making this change, the game is going to look and sound exactly like it did before. All right, we've got the same sounds playing as before. So for both of the sound types that we're going to mess with today, that's going to be pitch and volume. And for uh, a lot of sound design purposes, instead of calling it volume, you call it gain. I'm not sure the like technical etymology of that word, but that's the uh, gain is the sound design term for hey. volume. In a lot of cases, you might be familiar with it if you've ever looked at like the volume knob on a fancy microphone or audio output device. Uh, there's a couple functions, audio emitter pitch that you can use and audio emitter gain. Uh, there's also, as there often is, audio emitter get pitch and audio emitter get gain that you can use to get the values, uh, the pitch and the gain values that have been set to an emitter. Uh, each of these functions is going to take an emitter ID, uh, you can probably guess, and a pitch or a gain value. And in both of these cases, the, uh, like the default value is going to be one. Uh, that's going to be 100%. Uh, value above one is going to be a value greater than 100%. So uh, pitching a sound up, you would do that by like passing a pitch value of like 1.5 or so. I believe that will also speed it up because in basic audio usage in Game Maker, pitching and speeding a, a sound up will both, uh, they're tied together because of the way that sound waves work. Um, fancier systems let you separate them, but I don't believe Game Makers does. And uh, when it comes to volume, when it comes to gain, a volume of one is the default volume. Uh, val a value between zero and one is going to be a reduced volume. And I believe uh, Game Maker will also let you go above 100% to make something louder, which is something that's not really that much of a good idea usually, but you can do it if you want, I think. So to, um, to show this in action, uh, if I go to maybe the step event, and then uh, let's say that if we hit a function key or something like that, or uh, some key on the keyboard. Uh, function keys are easy. Uh, let's say that if you hit VKF1, we can set the uh, the pitch of the background music to, oh, let's say 0 0.8. Uh, pitch it down a little bit, slow it down. Um, if, we, uh, if we hit F2, uh, do we want to return it to normal or do we want to like increase it a little? I guess we'll, we'll return it to normal. So uh, function keys 1, 2, and 3. We'll change the pitch of the uh, the background music. And uh, do I want to mess with the volume on the background music as well? I think I'll just do that on the, uh, the sound effect emitter. Um, let's say if you hit uh, F5, uh, 6, and 7. Um, let's play with the gain of the sound effect emitter. And we can, I, th I think 0 0.8 might be a little bit hard to hear the difference. So I'll set that down to like 0 0.2 so that it's there but barely audible. And um, I don't want 2 to be, I don't want, um, I don't want to set it too loud. So I'll go 1.5. All right. Uh, should I label these? Hang on. Let me throw some, uh, some text on the GUI, on the GUI layer that just uh, describes uh, what keys do what. Because I don't know if I'm going to remember by the time the game is running. So uh, I'm just now going to, uh, to run the game. And on this demo program, we'll be able to hit, for example, the F1 key to lower the pitch of the background music. Very nice. And that's what it sounds like sped up. And now if I, uh, if I walk around, that's actually really loud. But you can hear that no matter what uh, pitch the uh, the background music is set to, I'm uh, playing with the, the F1 keys as I walk around. Uh, the uh, the footstep sound effect is the same, and the same is true for the uh, what is it? The uh, the volume, the, the pitch of the uh, uh, boy talking, the coin sound effect, the uh, the chime when you talk to the NPC. And um, if I were to uh, what is it? F5 to lower the sound effect volume. It is very difficult to hear the footstep sound effect. Uh, you can hear the chime when you talk to the NPC, but it's very low. And if I were to, uh, to raise it, no, come back here. 
All right, I'm gonna have to find someone else. Footstep sound effect is a lot louder now, indeed. All right. And that is the, uh, the chime. And this should hopefully illustrate how you can use um, audio emitters to, uh, I guess I might say, to, uh, to classify different sounds. Uh, you can also... Uh, you can also use the audio group feature of Game Maker to uh, to do this for uh, for the gain of all assets, all audio assets in an audio group. I'm not sure if that is a subject for another day. Uh, the audio audio groups are basically a lesser known cousin of Game Maker's texture groups, um, which you're probably familiar with if you've ever done too much with graphics, especially in 3D. Um, right below that in the tools menu, there is a uh, there's a menu for audio groups, which are very similar. And while audio assets aren't written to texture pages per se, and uh, this is um, perhaps somewhat less important sometimes, uh, you can still group audio assets together like this to uh, load them on demand to, um, as this function allows you to do, to set the gain of particular sound assets in, a, in an audio group. I would guess that most of the times, if you wanted to do this sort of thing in Game Maker, you would use emitters. You would use audio emitters like I'm doing here, just because... I mean, audio groups are fine, but emitters just let you do so many other things that are related to this that you might also want to do. But uh, perhaps that's just me. That's for you to decide. Um, as a somewhat fun fact, for whatever reason, audio emitters are something that I kind of keep forgetting are a thing that are available for me to use in Game Maker. Like, I will have periods where I'll just, like, forget that I can use emitters for audio effects or audio, like, volume settings like this. And there have been a few times where I've, like, wired together audio systems in Game Maker, uh, like, the long way. Like, manually setting volume and pitch and whatever for different sounds. And then after I've done that, I like slap myself in the face and realize, hey, why did I do that? I can just use emitters for this and it'll be like 5% as much code as what I just wrote. So uh, don't be like me and use audio emitters where appropriate. Anyway, I'm going to end it off here. If I have time this week, um, I will also post a video on using audio effects, uh, audio buses and uh, emitters. I'm going to try to record that video shortly after this one, and if I have time to edit it before Saturday, I'll um, hopefully be posting that a few hours after this one. If you want the code for this, uh, look for the GitHub repository down in the video description. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial like this, and one Let's Make a Game, currently a 3D wizard game. Good fun. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. Otherwise, I hope you all find this useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Gamer Player, John Luigi Celentano, Manta Ray, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, Vitro V, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.